Today we're going to be doing another crochet related craft haul and review. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're always up to date. Thank you for joining me here today. As usual, if you like the shirt I have on today, it's called Too Legit The Knit. You can get your own. I have my own crochet t-shirt shop. I'll leave all that information down in the description box below. So, what we're gonna be doing here today, we're looking at cool crochet gadgets that I found on Amazon. Some of the things I've never seen before, before I went shopping online to look for these gadgets. So I want you to stay tuned all the way to the end of the video and check out some of these cool crochet related gadgets. I'm not going to chit chat too much. I'm going to hop right into this review. Number one. Okay, first we're going to be looking at the Lawyer Aluminum Steel Handle Crochet Hook Knitting Needle Set 24 piece with bag. One, this is not a knitting needle set. It's a crochet hook set. I bought this for $7.99. It was a great price. I had free shipping because personally I use Amazon Prime because I shop on it all the time. When I'm looking for crochet hooks, I'm always looking for hooks that are related to Susan Bates because I love the shape of the inline hooks. I know other people like the boy crochet hooks, but me personally, I love inline hooks. So, but when I'm looking for cheap hooks, they're always in the shape of boy crochet hooks. And when I came across this one, what I loved about it, it was like boy crochet hook and Susan Bates had a baby. So let me show you what this set looks like. It looks exactly as it does in a picture online, which is awesome. And the hooks are pretty sturdy. They look like any aluminum crochet hook set. But let me give you an up close look at these because like I said, it's like Susan Bates and Boy had a baby together. The tip of it is rounded like a boy crochet hook, but yet the hook of it is almost like an inline shape. So I like that so I can grip the yarn as I'm crocheting. I'm going to give you guys a closer look on this down on the table. Okay, I have my crochet hooks all set up. This is my Susan Bates boy, and this is the uh, crochet hook that came along in the kit. As you can see, the Susan Bates, which is the inline hook, the tip of it goes down very sharply so the yarn can hook into the uh, crochet hook pretty easily. And with the boy, the head is a little bit more rounder. And the hook is not as sharp. But when we go over to the kit one, it's kind of a combination of both. As you can see the boy crochet hook here, the head is quite similar. But it hooks a little further down. It's pretty hard to see right here, like the boy. Let's put them all side by side. It looks more boy than uh, Bates. But if you can just feel this hook right here, it catches much more easily than the boy crochet hook. All right, now we're gonna try this in action. Okay, you got to see the crochet hooks up close, so now we're gonna test it. I can tell it's a good crochet hook. If I can crochet pretty fast and the crochet hook doesn't fall or leave the yarn. So let's give this a test. So far, it feels pretty good on my hand. I haven't slipped out of my yarn yet. It's not my favorite like a Susan Bates, but I like it. So I guess I'm ready to give this thing a review. But before I review, there was a big debate in the comment section down below on how I pronounce skein or skein. I guess some people say skein, some people say skein, potato, potato. But to relieve the debate, I'm going to call it balls, balls of yarn. So the review for this crochet hook set, I'm going to give this four balls of yarn. Number two. Next, we're going to look at the Knitter's Pride Needle and Crochet View Sizer with Yarn Cutter. I bought this in the color purple. All right, when I was looking to buy this, I bought many of um, crochet hook guide sizers before. Ones like this little uh, simple one here and this cute one with the little round holes here. The problem with these uh, guide sizers, if your head of your hook is too big, it won't fit. This fits perfectly for um, knitting needles, but crochet hook... Um, Crochet hooks, not the best. So you guys recommended that I buy a guide sizer that has little U cutouts where I can just slide my crochet hook in. So this is what I bought. It's super cute. It's a little elephant and the elephant's nose has a yarn cutter right here. Little rulers and here's the little U cutouts for all your crochet hooks. All right. So what we're going to do right now, I'm just going to show you how the yarn cutter works. Oh, let me pull up some yarn. I guess I'm on the floor here. We'll test that out first, see how that cuts. Perfectly. All right, so I'm gonna take this down to the table so you can see me work 
placing in the crochet hooks. Okay, let's give this a try. Luckily, I just bought a set of crochet hooks so I don't have to dig through my crochet hook bin. So what we're going to start out with now, we're going to try a 4 millimeter crochet hook. We're going to find the 4 millimeter spot right here and place the hook in. And it fits perfectly. It slides up and down. Let's try down one. Ooh, it also fits in a 375. Let's go up one. Okay, I can tell that's too big. Eee, I'm not exactly sure of this because this reads three and a quarter. All right, let me try another hook. We're going to move up to a size five. Let's go to the size five spot. It fits in perfectly. Let's go above. I can tell this is too big. And down below. It also fits in perfectly. Hmm. All right, we're going to try one more hook size. Let's go all the way up into a K. Where is the K mark? The K is right here, 6.5. Let's place it in. Fits perfectly. Let's go down to J. Doesn't fit at all. Go up one. I don't know. The K and the one up from this fits exactly the same. Almost, They're both loose in it. All right, I'm ready to give you guys a review of this little crochet guide sizer. Okay, you got to see this thing in action. What I like about it is the, uh, that is cute of course, and the little yarn color cutter, that's convenient. What I do not like about it, you cannot get your exact hook size. What I found, if you absolutely have no clue what your crochet hook size, with this you can find it within a half a size of your crochet hook, but not exactly what you're looking for. And if you're creating a crochet pattern, uh, the change in a hook size can completely change the size of your pattern. So I'm ready to give this bad boy a review. On a scale of one to five balls of yarn, I'm going to rate this two balls of yarn. Number three. Next, we're going to look at the Clover Thread Cutter Pendant in the color Antique Gold. When I came across this online, I have never seen anything like this. Comment below if you guys ever seen a, seen a pendant cutter before. But what it is, here it is. You can place this bad boy on necklaces right now. I made it into a bracelet because this is the only uh, bracelet that I had that matched it. Let me see if I can show it to you up close. Look at this pendant. Look how cute this is. On the front of it, it says clover. And on the back... Uh, mine says Japan. I don't know why it says Japan, but it does. But it is super cute. And what it is, let me take it off this little bracelet, is a yarn cutter. You can always have it. I think I'm going to find myself a chain so I can wear it around my neck so I can be super cute. So let's test it out. Oh, it just cut yarn like nothing. Oh my goodness. I love this thing. I've never seen one of these before. So me using this is actually the first time I ever used it on camera. So I like to give the shock value when I try something. So if you're shocked, I'm shocked. We're shocked together. So, oh, this is definitely cute. I recommend it. I'm not even going to a long detail about this. Look at it. It's instantly a bracelet. It can be a cute little necklace. I love it. So I'm ready to give this bad boy a review already within like less than a minute of looking at it. I am going to give this out of five balls of yarn, five balls of yarn. I definitely recommend this. Number four. Next, we are going to look at the Color Scope Color Selector. It used materials through a color scope to get the best color combination. Great for knitting, quilting, crochet, kaleidoscope, telescope. So that's what it's called. I've never, ever, ever seen anything like this before. If you're anything like me, I am I would like to call myself color incompetent. I cannot match colors for anything. If you ever look at any of my crochet patterns in my uh, library, they're all basically one color because I don't know how to combine colors. This little dandy thing is supposed to help you somehow find the perfect color combinations for any one of your crochet patterns. This is actually the first time I've looked at it also. As I'm looking through it, it just looks like a kaleidoscope that you use when you were a little kid. It came with instructions and it says to arrange three to four colors together next to each other and view it through this little kaleidoscope. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to get my yarn colors together and see if I can look at all this mess on the table. 
scoop. Let's see, it's in film right here. My three colors together. Let me lower the camera a little bit more. And I'm supposed to just peer through. Oh my God. Oops, excuse me. Oh wow, this. Okay, I'm going to have to get this at a better angle so you guys can see exactly what I'm looking at. All right, I'm going to pause the video and switch to an angle, excuse me, angle where you guys can see also. Okay, according to the instructions, you take three to four colors. I just picked any random colors. And you place them all next to each other so they pretty much intersect. There we go. Well, let me take this uh, purple one out. We're going to do these three colors. All right, so now I'm going to try to place this in my camera. Can you guys see that? Look at that. You can see what your pattern will ooh, looked up, look like worked up before you even start. Excuse the white in the background. Since I can't angle this perfectly, you're getting some of the poster board. But when I'm looking through it, all I can see is actual just the three colors that I have listed. So this is, let me see. If, oh, there it is. Now you can see it a little bit better. How cool is that? You can see your work before it's even started. All right, let me give you guys a review of this. I have never seen anything like this before. And if you're color incompetent like myself and can't match colors for the life of you, I definitely recommend this. It's so cool. When you look into it, it looks like a regular kaleidoscope, but I guess it takes the colors within uh, the view of it. And it puts it together just like a crochet pattern. I want to start another picture so you can see exactly what it looks like. Because I know it was kind of odd looking at it through the viewer with me. Unfortunately, I don't have the technology to show you what it looks like even better. But I am ready to rate this out of five balls of yarn. I'm going to give this five balls of yarn. Guys, go out and get one of these. I definitely recommend it. This is like one of the coolest things that I've ever seen. I hope you enjoyed this review. I have a lot more things coming in the mail, especially from Wish. It's been taking a while. But make sure you check out my other crochet haul videos. I'll leave those all onto the side so you can click on that and binge watch those. And I'll see you all on the very next review or pattern. Bye.